hi everyone and thanks for joining me today now i did promise you um a new series <coughs> excuse me on book pages and how i use them and you know i i've been showing you all of my vintage book hauls and you know i do have a lot of books there are hundreds of ways to use um vintage pages and so i thought when i sort through my pages and i make things i'll just turn the camera on and show you you know what i actually do with them and um you know how i find them um well i find them in charity shops car boots um all different places now it's not just books it's magazines and um, booklets all sorts of things so i've been sorting out my craft room today and i found this pile of um these are magazines called this england they are vintage they're from uh they're the 80s so i think they're from about 1981 something like that they're you know a little bit old they're not ancient but they are old and there's some really good images in here so i thought well um i'm not i don't want to keep them all because i haven't got the room for everything so what i do is i go through some books and some magazines and i just take out the pages that i want so that i can use them at a later date so i thought while i sift through these i could have a little chin wag with you all and show you the kind of images that i save and some of the ideas um for them so let me oh this very big uh let's go through them one at a time so let's put these i don't want to squash the things that are over there so what i do basically is i just flip through the magazines um now look at this image here isn't she just beautiful and she would be fantastic on the front of a journal she would be just beautiful it would be quite a big journal but still i still think that, that page is worth keeping so what i do is i just rip out the pages that i want i mean look at her she is just beautiful so i'm definitely definitely going to keep that page um and then i do have a lot of these pages already so i'm not going to keep everything i'm just going to whiz through and show you the kind of thing that i look for and possibly now look at this this is a lovely old um photograph so what i can do is take this page out and what we can do is either cut this photo out and put it as like a journaling card or a tag or we could use this as a journaling page um you know just to put a page i think i quite like that as a page so what i do as they're quite big and if you cut that in half you'd lose um some of that because i don't do journals like that big so what i would do is fold that over like that and then fold that over like that and then you have a flip out for a journal so then i keep these pages and then when i'm putting journals together i just take out some interesting ones and that's just beautiful and i think that would look absolutely lovely in a journal so i'm going to put my um journal pages there let's have a look what else we've got here once upon a time i would have probably used all of the pages but as i have so many um now see that's quite um gorgeous as well these sort of children um i don't know what year that would be from but that's quite a nice one as well so what we could do just do the same thing again and i don't do them all the same i just do them roughly and then these make great journal pages just to um you know make interesting this is a, a nice one but i'm not going to actually use it this time see that is cute look at this walls ice cream um 1932 look at that and it says snapshots and i think that would be a really lovely um page so right you move i've made you loads of space you naughty boy um so again this is just going to be a nice journaling page and that's gorgeous if you look when i've done it look um 
and then you can make that into a pocket or you can just use that as a flip and then you've got a gorgeous um you know flip out journaling page so i mean it's you know a lot of people throw away old magazines have a flip through them because you know you can find some really gorgeous images and pages and sometimes it's just an interesting page that will brighten up a journal and i think it's nice to see that would be a nice one but i have quite a lot um i can't keep it all unfortunately so i think that's that for that one um so this is basically what i do i just flip through them and sometimes i like using these pages at the back because they're like they're like waxy just really waxy and i just think that would make a nice um, pocket or a flip so we're going to put these aside and then as the episodes go on I'll show you see that you could use sew that down and then make that into pocket I'll probably I cut my finger today look um I probably will turn this into a pocket it's very waxy I should put a plaster on that um and it just feels yummy and I just thought look you could use this as a journaling um page so that one is done with and we had a couple of pages out of that one. Look at that. See, that would be really cool. But I have a lot of them. Um, so I cannot keep them all. I don't really want cows, but somebody might. Um, so I am just... That's a bit dark, that picture. So I won't keep that one. Seven Wesley girls, would that be nice? That might be quite an interesting journal page. And even though they don't look much here, when they're in a journal, um, they look quite pretty, you know. So we're going to have these Wesley girls in a journal. And I can't even remember where I picked up these magazines, but look. So that will be in a journal page and it's... Quite a nice old pictures inside there as well. And then if you... Oh, see, that's quite pretty. That would make quite a nice tag, actually. So what I would do is keep that and just cut this out. Um, so if you don't want to keep all this bulk... Um, just and I just sit in bed sometimes on an evening um, while hubby's watching footy sometimes and I'll just sit and have a little um, wallet you know that one them plastic wallets and just put them all together and then you've got all these lovely interesting pictures um, so you can make you can even collage with old magazines but look that will make quite a lovely tag and it says the daisy and you could age all this up so i'll do another video using some of these images so that can now go in the bin just whizzing through that's quite pretty as well. Do we want to keep that one? See, what we could actually do is use this as a journal page. And what I would probably do is fold that over like that. And then put um, a piece of um, coffee dyed paper over that. So you've then got on your page. Let me just... I'll show you. So what I would do with this one, let me just move this aside and quickly show you. Um, I would get some, oh my goodness me, that just fell on the floor. Some, excuse my arm, coffee dyed paper. And where's my, let's have a look. So what I would literally do is this. And you can make these pages up in advance so that they're all ready to go 
and put in a journal so then you haven't even got to do that when it comes round to putting your journal together so what i would do is then put that over there and look you have a journaling page already with a lovely beautiful image um so we were just you know that's you can see that through that so what you probably would need to do is actually let me grab oh my goodness me. that didn't work because there was black writing underneath so in here i have some old book page um this isn't coffee dyed this is an actual old book page really old book page actually so let's just some of that in there and we do this about yeah and then what we'll do is stick that on there I'm going to age it oops and then you can make these up in advance if you want to so and then we're just going to stick this down with me old trusty glue stick i haven't got my glue book handy um and then what you would do is stick that down on there and look, you have a journaling page um, already to put in a journal. So that one is already done. And you, oops, it's not stuck down because I didn't have my glue book. So I didn't put enough glue on it. There you go. There, see? So just makes a lovely, interesting um, page there. I might have to stick that down again, but never mind. We'll get there. So that is what we would do. So let's go through and finish this one. See, they're quite pretty. That's quite an interesting page. So I'm just going to Sometimes these stories are quite interesting to read as well. Um, and then you have that pretty page, and I do the same again. I would put some coffee dyed paper over that. I'm not going to do that now because you get the idea. Look at this one, this is quite pretty. These Shire horses. Now, when you go to cutting your journal pages down, um, especially if you're doing a TN, you'll cut down here anyway. So we're going to fold this one right over like that. And then when you come to um, cutting your your pages down, um, I'll show you this as we go on through the, the series. You would just, you know, cut this page down. But look, that's very pretty as well. So we are having lots. Look at this. Lovely. Now that would make a really nice picture. what's on the other side I always look on the other side to make sure that that one's not more interesting so she's a bit grim looking sorry lady um but what I would do is just cut can always trim them up later on more tidier we're just basically just thinning down these um, magazines because I've got way too much so that would make a lovely pocket in a journal wouldn't that make a lovely gorgeous pocket that is a lovely picture and you know it might not look like much in here I mean she's gorgeous look at this lady in here See, I think she's very cute to put on a pocket as well. Not so sure about the men, but what we'll do, we're going to cut her out as well. And like I said, you could use them 
for collagen um putting on pockets what i would do is actually put that on a piece of card or you could even do like a an altered clip paper clip as well so we're going to keep her and this is i just love this i think this is so therapeutic except i'm making a mess on my floor look at these lovely old pictures here now i probably could take so many pictures out of here look at that's royal mail look at that picture how interesting that is i kind of want to keep her i don't know i might leave that one only because i have so many so i'm not going to keep them all um that's quite a nice picture i'm not going to keep it it's a nice picture right i think we're gonna oh see that's quite pretty i like that a lot i like it a lot don't rip weirdly on me right i think that one's done and then what i would do is i'm going to fold this one in half purely because that will be cut down anyway so that will probably end up like sort of that size anyway so if you wanted to oh my goodness me um you could just cut this already we'll have to trim it up because it's not nice and tidy but i'm just doing this to show you that actually what it will look like when it's on in a journal obviously this will be tidied up but look how gorgeous and pretty that page would be um in a journal with um some gorgeous paper underneath it look at that that is just beautiful i love it i love it right i need to get faster because i have to go out this afternoon i don't know what this is this is like a little booklet in here subscription orders calendar orders no i'm not going to keep that sometimes i like the little pockets that you get in them see that's a nice picture um be nice for a christmas christmasy um sort of journal And then what I do is I have a, like a plastic um, box, deep box. And what I do is I just line up all these pages. And then when I'm doing a journal, I'll just pick like one from each sort of collection. So this will be my magazine collection. So I always have, like to have a, um, let me show you. It might help you a bit better. Um, I have one here that I have just made. And let me show you what I mean this is a journal that i've just put in together and this is just the front cover of a vintage book and then inside there are just lots of different book pages um so we've got music pages um these are coffee dyed butterfly maps sort of ledger paper edith holden and i always have if i can find one like a magazine page can't find one now um where are you maybe i didn't i oh, see that's a magazine that's from one of these now where's the other side of it over here so as you can see it just brightens up um the page and this has just got lots and lots of different book pages in between coffee dyed paper but it just makes it so interesting look kids books um, magazines look that's um, from a magazine but it just brightens up your journals i mean look at this this is just so much fun look at these funny book pages in here um i just love them um so i will be doing more on um, those things but i just wanted to show you how we kind of use them see look 
she's beautiful and look at the buzz cat in there so we're going to keep this one and i might use this on the front of a journal so we actually have two sort of journal covers and i'll show you when we're done that is very beautiful as well i just oh no look at these these are gorgeous images now do i want i want that big one i think so i'm going to use this one as a see that would be oh, see that would be a gorgeous um journal cover look you see if i can kind of fold it over that would actually be a very beautiful almost like a cover for a journal i'm going to keep that like that because that might give me an idea oh my oh my oh my charlie oh charlie's gone to sleep have you gone to sleep i made a space over there because he has just become an, a problem um every time i do a video right we're going to keep these because these will just make lovely lovely pockets in a journal so actually if i did what i could do these are just ideas for you is use this as the front cover of a journal and then use these as pockets in the journal so what i would do is back this onto card and use that it would be a quite a small journal it wouldn't be a very long journal but it'd be a nice little booklet and then or actually you could just put that on a bigger cover or some fabric I'll, I'll show you because i think this has given me an idea for a journal so i will use this as a cover and what i would do is use these three images as pockets in the journal um but we'll keep this and we will sh i'll show you as the series goes along right i hope all this is making sense to you it makes sense to me right come on chanel whiz through whiz through whiz through oh see look at all these little now these are like tea cards look so these pages would be good to cut out and use the images on these because these are like key cards so we will definitely um cut all of these out and use these on um especially if you're doing a nature journal so that needs to go into like a nature folder I've, i need to be more organized as to i mean look at these lovely old sort of pictures here so we'll cut this one out i mean look at that these old images so they would definitely make lovely tuck spots, journaling cards, lots of things. So when you're out and about at car boots or flea markets or wherever you are, I'm sure they have something like that. Um, I quite like this. Have a look at like old magazines because you might... Mm, I don't like the way that's... What are you doing? Don't eat that. It's trying to eat. No, I won't use that one eat some glue not good charles right that one we've whizzed through right oh look there's another one of those um lovely i love these waxy pages are just super cute right very waxy um pages so with this what i could do with this one is fold this one in half and then we could like that and then make little pockets for that so that's like a flip and then what i'll do is turn them into pockets <coughs> excuse me right i'm going to do one more on camera because i'm sure you're probably bored right now and you probably get the idea right, we're just whizzing through it Oh, 
doesn't seem to be much in here that we want. See, that's quite an interesting page. And what we could do is turn this into a flip out like so and sometimes you get nice words and things and um that you can use you know in the your journals as well right okay that one was very quick so i will do one more with you because we kind of whizzed through that one didn't we see that would be cute but i don't really need a dog one but i hope that this video has um give you some ideas that you know, even an old magazine, you can actually get quite a lot of things from. She says, I haven't found anything in this one yet. So that's quite a cute picture. Now, do I want to... What I might do is just fold this one in half. And then we can cut that one down um, as a journal page. I think that's quite cute. That would be quite cute in a Christmas, like a Christmas journal. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to probably flip this one. Should I flip it? This actually would remind me of my childhood. Because I had a gollywog just like that. But it had a stripey um, thing. A stripey top. Oh, these feel nice, these old pages here. That's a very pretty page. Oh, come on, Chanel. I think I'm going to fold this one over and do it like that. See, there's quite a few ways that you can actually fold a page. I actually didn't do that very good. It was really off. <laughs> I quite like these old coloured pages here. That's quite nice. I like this one. Fold this one like that, and we're going to fold it like that. And this one, right? We are done. Right. Okay. So I'll do the others off camera, but let me show you what we have got so far. Right, and Charles is laying on. So as you can see, um, there are more there, but we've got lots of journal pages. So I would just put all these in my journal box. And these are ready for when you want to. I mean, look, these are so pretty. So I just, so the journal pages, I will stack in my box so that I can just take one when I want one to put one in a journal um, like that. And then that's another journal page, but we need to cut that one down. Then we have these gorgeous images, which could be used as oops, the other one as a cover. Not that one. Right, so we've got that one as a cover, that one as a cover. Um, and I think we had one more that we could use as a cover. So I need to keep those nice and flat like that. Then we have these, which we can cut out for pockets. So I'm going to keep those two pages together. And then we've got these gorgeous 
images as well which I need to cut out on all these little birdies so what I'll do is I'm going to keep these aside and then I will be showing some projects using um, these little pictures and bits and pieces to show you how we can use these book pages so I hope that this has been helpful and you know a pile of old magazines can be turned into beautiful things so thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this new series. Please um, leave me a comment. Let me know what, you're, um, what you think. And I shall see you all very soon. So take care for now. Bye-bye.